In this video we are going to look at the kinds of charges that you may receive on your residential property that you own. So if you buy a house you will be charged cancel rates, you will be charged rates for garbage pickup, for water usage and a variety of other things. And what this means is that your property may have seemed much more affordable and much more uh, of a better investment beforehand, but when all the costs are actually incorporated into it, it might not come out looking so good. So it's important to know that before you buy a property or before you invest in a property, just how much money it's actually going to cost just to exist. It's very, um, it's very tempting to just do I'm going to buy this house and this house is going to generate this amount of rent and therefore I will always have a tenant and this is how much money I can expect to receive every single year. But in reality there are a lot of costs associated with owning a, owning a house and having it as an investment property and there are also a lot of costs associated with owning a house and just living in it. So what this question aims to illustrate is what these kinds of costs would be. Alright, so in our first, uh, in the kind of context of the question, we have cancel rates for a property valued at $374,000. This is the important part of the question, so if you're doing this in a test, you might want to underline anything useful in the context. And then we're asked to find the residential uh, rate, we're asked to find the water usage, we're asked to find the garbage and determine the total rates payable on this property. Well, let's start with the residential rate. So the rates are given by a certain amount of cents here on the dollar value of the property. So we are going to take the dollar value of the property, which is $374,000 and we are going to multiply it into the rate which is 0 0.004155 cents per dollar in this case the dollars will cancel and we'll just be left with cents so let's work that out 374,000 times 0 0.0 Naught four one five five. This is going to equal to one thousand five hundred and fifty three point nine seven cents. One thousand five hundred and fifty three point nine seven cents. So we need to convert this to dollars, and the way we do this is by realizing that there are 100 cents in a dollar, and if we're going backwards from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide. So we do 1,553.97 uh, divided by 100. And you could do this by simply moving the decimal place, but we're going to do it on the calculator, divided by 100. 15.5397 but we need to round it to two decimal places because we only deal with dollars and cents and cents ends at two decimal places so 15.53 but we round up because the next digit is a 9 so 15.54 0 0.54 dollars alright so we've got the residential rate now we need to find the water usage. Water usage, well, let's look at the usage charge. It's charged at 94 kiloliters at $1.3390 uh, dollars per kiloliter. So this is saying we've used 94 kiloliters, and this is the rate we were charged per kiloliter. So we have 94 kiloliters, 94 times the rate which is 1.3390 dollars per kiloliter and you should be noticing that it, with rates you need to know uh, that what you're converting into should cancel out the existing units so in this case if we were to divide 94 kiloliters uh, by uh, kiloliters it would cancel out both of the kiloliters and we'd just be left with dollars so what's this going to be equal to? 94 times 
point three three nine zero. A hundred and twenty five point eight six six. We round that to two decimal places, it's a hundred and twenty five point eight seven. Point eight seven. And this was in dollars, so we don't need to convert to cents. Let's look at C. C is a flat rate for garbage, so it's two hundred and two dollars and eighty cents. Two hundred and two dollars and eighty cents. And D asks us to calculate the total rates payable. So we need to add our residential rate, our water usage, our garbage rate, but we also need to look at our water and sewage service rate, which is included in the table, but we didn't get asked a question about it. So our total rates are going to be equal to 15.54 plus 125.87 plus 202.80 plus our water sewage service which is 114.99, which is equal to, well, let's do this up in the calculator, we have 125.86, 15.54 125.87 plus 202.8 plus 114. Well, this is equal to $459.20. $459.20. Ignore that first one. Okay, so that's how you solve that problem. Just be aware that they might do what they did in this question to you, which is they get you list off all of the different uh, charges, but they'll leave one out, which means you may be tempted to add up only the ones they have explicitly asked you to solve. So just make sure you know all the charges that are involved and also make sure to underline the important information in the question. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you in the next video.